And here we are back with author and mystery writer David Krugler. David, are you surprised by how much more people are interested in fiction as opposed to nonfiction? I am uh, pleasantly surprised now that I've started writing fiction. Um, but I always thought that uh, since there were more nonfiction books published every year that uh, the interest level was higher. But I think people are fascinated when you're able to create this whole story and carry it out and bring it to the page and, and bring it to a satisfying conclusion uh, and do it from your imagination. I think that brings a, a level of interest that um, isn't there even for dedicated nonfiction readers. How do you stay disciplined? How do you say, you know what, I'm going to write, I'm going to start, and I'm going to keep going and follow it through? You know, a lot of writers say it's a reward for them because they have day jobs and they like to come home at night and say, I'll, I'll work on it then. I like to write in the morning because it just makes me feel good about my day uh, going forward into my job and everything that I have to do, knowing that I spent uh, an hour or even less just putting some words to the page. I think it's fascinating, the entire process. And again, your discipline is just uh, unbelievably unmatched. Oh, well, thank do you. you go to different different places? I mean, is there a spot that you go to write? Uh, kind of a comfort spot maybe in your home or outside of your home, or is it all over? Um, I do like to write in my book line study, um, so I can stare at all these books I've read when I can't think of anything to write. Uh, I write in the kitchen, and I also like to write in public libraries. I like to be surrounded by people who are also book lovers, and of course they're total strangers to me, but uh, I do like working in public libraries, and I get good writing done there. People seem to love a novelist, and is it because they like to make things up? Probably. That genre may be a fantasy, too. Right. Yeah, I think so. As long as you're not making up things about them right. and putting that in the book, uh, <laughs> then they're all right with the make-believe. But you don't get the same response from your academic writing. No, not no. at all. Not no. at all. <laughs> but how do, you how do you keep that line and not cross it? I mean, because really, it it's fiction. And then when you go back and you're teaching, it's historical. Right. I mean, I can't make stories up when I'm uh, teaching history, and I certainly can't do it when I'm writing history. Um, but one of the big differences between the two is with your history, you're working from documents. You're working from what really happened. So that helps keep you grounded. Thank you, David, for joining us. It sounds like you have a lot of history to teach the world, and it's exciting that you are using mysteries as a way to do it.